Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the Shore Track 6x12, 9,900 pound GVW telescopic dump trailer. This unit's going to weigh in at about 3,200 pounds. It's going to give a net legal payload of about 6,700 plus your tongue weight. You're going to pick up about 1,000 to 1,500 pounds. You're going to take your total up to about 8,000 pounds. Gives it enough to haul a, a small machine or a decent sized compact tractor in it. A lot of guys like this six foot width because uh, it is about a foot narrower than the seven wides which makes it a little bit more user friendly for getting in and around tighter places uh, telescopic hoist is something that is upgraded on this model uh, ideal for a higher duty cycle commercial user so the two features that we put on this particular unit are the telescopic and also the adjustable coupler up front everything else on this unit is standard equipment Again, this is a 6x12 10K dump. So let's take a walk around. It will show you all the standard features. So again, up front, this uh, this coupler is an option. Notice it has a 6-bolt uh, nose plate. So you've got four different adjustments that you can set it to to raise the coupler up and down. It is a cast-style coupler, not the stamps. It's a little heavier duty. It's a little different than some are used to. Forward is actually open. Back is closed. So right now it's in the forward position. Of course, you've got your standard... Uh, pin for your safety. Notice it is reinforced uh, for the coupler back to the frame. This does have a 7,000 pound drop leg jack. One nice thing about the drop leg jack, if you never had one before, uh, this inner leg is sleeved. It can drop down about five different holes. And then your outer sleeve there is uh, adjustable via the top line handle has a nice wide foot ideal if you ever need to put it down in dirt or sand or similar not going to sink down uh, with all the adjustment no need to carry around wood block or similar another nice feature on this it is a bolt-on jack if you ever damage it or need to replace it or move it etc very simple to do so uh, service wise there is a zert I guess it's on the back side here uh, you can uh, service the jack it's also got an integrated plug holder for your wiring harness. It's got the standard seven pin blade found on most all modern vehicles and an integrated plug holder. Wiring harness on this is sealed. Notice it's grommeted and ran in frame. Of course, your standard breakaway cable that would hook up to your truck if you ever came disconnected. Another nice feature is the safety chains do have a holder. Now, with the adjustables, I like to hook them on to each side there it gives you a nice spot but there is an integrated holder as well so this does have a standard toolbox it is lockable keys are always on the back side of the handle in case you're ever wondering it does have a group 24 deca deep cycle marine battery it's a 140 amp hour battery the main terminals obviously are for the go into the pump and then smaller wires are the auxiliary wire harness uh, that's going to go through your truck seven pin connection it's going to give you about a 3.7 amp hour so if you have a 140 battery and a 3.7 charge off the truck it's going to be a very slow charge it's going to take a lot of driving to fully charge the battery that said you're also going to get a fair amount of dump cycles out of the battery uh, something like this about 30 hours to get charged off the truck you're going to get probably 10, 15, 20 dump cycles out of a fully charged battery with this telescopic hoist. Uh, of course, depending on the time of year and depending on what you're putting in the dump itself. So this is a KTI pump, USA made. It's got a little bigger reservoir because on the telescopic dump, keep in mind, uh, this is basically pushing all the fluid out and then draining it all back as opposed to the power up, power down unit, which would be your traditional undermount cylinder, which is simply circulating fluid from one side to the other. One benefit to the telescopic, besides it's a ton more efficient, is uh, you can never lose fluid out of this system, theoretically. Uh, all the fluid, if your battery's dead, all it takes is a tiny little bit of juice uh, to open up your coil and let the gravity take care of the rest. Where on a power unit, if your battery's ever dead, it only takes a little bit of juice to open the coil, but you're essentially draining your line because instead of powering it both ways, you're simply draining one side, it's gonna overflow the reservoir into the box. That's a small benefit. 
The much bigger benefit to the telescopic would simply be it is pointed vertical at the very front. Trying to go vertical makes it a lot more efficient. Uh, telescopic hoist, uh, they say undermount hoist generally in a dual piston is about a 40% efficient. Scissor gets more leverage, it's about 60. Telescopic does all the things right. It's, it's pointed vertical, trying to take the load vertical. Um, it's also all the way at the front, so it has all the leverage in the world. And then we'll show you in a second, it's actually a three-stage cylinder, so it's always in the right gear, so to speak, uh, versus most of your trailers uh, need to be in the wrong gear, so to speak, to get started, but then uh, they never get to change gears. Uh, this with this three-stage setup, it's, it's always uh, uh, near its optimal efficiency. So a couple things on this uh, short track dump. The tongue is a little bit longer uh, due to the telescopic. So you, a little bit nicer if you've got uh, maybe a dually truck or a flatbed and you can certainly make use of that extra length. Uh, this is a traditional stack frame, meaning you've got a full wrap tongue running back to the spring hanger and then you've got a main frame. Uh, some now in the industry are doing what we call mono frames. So they're doing from the front all the way to the back out of one. And what they're doing, they're cutting out uh, this bit of steel here, which is actually where you most need it. Your highest point loads are going to be from your axle to your coupler, halfway point right there, your double stacked uh, frame. Now, speaking of frame on this, Short Track's using uh, a tubular uh, frame on these. Again, it is a full wrap. Uh, so you've got your tongue, your main frame, and then also they use a four inch tube bed frame. And then you'll notice between the bed floor and the uh, bed itself, they silicone all your joints. Try to keep it as corrosion free for as long as possible. This unit is powder coated. It does have the newer style bullet LED lights. Stake pockets going down the sides if you want to build sides up at all. It's also got your hooks for uh, if you do a tarp kit and you want to hook down with your bungee cord on those you can. It's got the front and rear bulkhead on these. Now, normally short tracks uh, lift over the front a little bit. These are straight because of the telescopic setup itself, already set up for the tarp kit. You can easily drop a, a one foot side extension in these. They're set up for the one foot. If you just put a two by 10 or 12 in, normally what we do right about where the stake pockets are is come up from the bottom, lag into that board, and it'll hold it very, uh, very much in place. Uh, but if you're going to go more than that, you would want to use the stake pockets on this. Uh, another benefit to the short track, this keyway in the sidewall adds a ton of strength uh, to this trailer without really adding a whole lot of additional weight. Uh, so it gives you the highest available payload uh, while making the strongest available trailer. Now you notice on this particular unit, uh, it is fully seamed welds. A lot of manufacturers will stitch weld. That's all full seam along the perimeter. Notice the D-rings are also up off the floor uh, out of the way. 50 ring up front. Suppose if you wanted to use a come along or similar, uh, you can do so. Integrated sidestep. If you need to step up into the trailer or just get a little bit more height to tie something down. Has the double broke fender. Some in the industry will just use a single broke. Uh, more bends, of course, on this make it a little bit stronger. It's got the 5,200 pound axles, which comes with a six bolt silver mod wheel. Has a 225-75 R15 load range D eight ply radial tire. It's also got the newer style Ford adjusting brakes. And then it's also got the Easy Lube hubs. If you're not familiar with the Easy Lube hubs, when the trailer's nice and new, these will peel out nice and easy for you. Uh, there's a grease zert behind that, and you would simply uh, grease your hubs once a year is the recommended interval. As soon as you see the fresh grease come out, you would uh, you would stop your greasing so you don't push the inner axle seal out. Green cap on these do mean they're nitrogen filled. One nice thing about nitrogen, it doesn't have the humidity that your traditional air does. I'm told that that will help keep uh, your tires from getting dry rot on the inside uh, of them. Sidewall on these are 20 inches. Industry ranges from 18 to 24. We see more normally in the 18. 20 is like we find to be about the perfect height. And then certainly if you have anything that's lighter material, you wanna go up higher, you do have the ability to do so. Combination two-way gate on these are standard. This would open up from the center, do your traditional barn door. Then you can also set your depth and you can spread your material as well. So it's got a two-way function. 
It's got grease zerts at the top and then on your hinges, middle and bottom. One nice thing about these, they uh, they cap off the rear, box that in, put a nice heavy duty hinge with a grease zert on it. Lots of serviceability. Again, you notice that between all the seams, they're still sealing those all up. A little bit heavier duty top hinge, I added that about a year or two ago. Uh, a little bit heavier duty hook bars, uh, also made the ramps just a hair wider for you. One nice thing we like about these ramps is how simple they are to deploy. Simply turn that 90 degrees, it's automatically going to weight down, never going to go anywhere. Simply, simply grab those from the back. They added about three inches of width to these. And uh, very simple to use as are most things shore track. We like to take these and cross them over. It's easier to do with two hands, but it can be done with one. Simply cross that one and basically hook it in the back and then take this one, hook the other side. Where it couldn't come open going down the road. One nice thing about this bulkhead too that we like, the lights are up high where they're a little bit more, well, out of the way for one, but also a little bit more visible uh, for the guy behind you. Passenger side, similar to driver's side, only difference here would be the spare tire mount. Just standard equipment. Again, details on these. So, all four spots welded. Also, both sides inside. Lots of bead of weld on there. If one of those comes off, generally it's gonna have some, uh, some assistance from a skid steer operator or similar. Let's just take a look underneath this. So this is a six by 12. Uh, that's an inside bed dimension. Some guys ask uh, if there is additional bed length, and generally the answer is no. 12 foot is 12 foot. Might get just a touch more than that. But... Three zerts. Three zerts. So right now we're in first stage. First stage is going to be the slowest. You'll hear it kick the second stage any second. So there we go. It's going to get a little bit quicker. So in stage one, maximum lifting capacity, if you're loaded front heavy, I'm not encouraging you to do this, but if you are, telescopic hoist is still gonna be able to pick that front heavy load up. Of course, when we get to third stage, next down it gets even faster. This is gonna achieve roughly a 45 degree dump angle. Should be able to get out pretty much any material, including sticky clay. On this particular unit, Short Track does upgrade to a four inch cross member. Telescopics are built just a little bit different than would be a scissor or a single piston. Single piston would be standard on this size dump and certainly all the more hoist that the average user uh, would really need. You also notice on the ramps, a little bit heavier plating on the end. We have some manufacturers that use quarter inch plate here and over time they will wear out and bend. Half inch plate makes these pretty durable for the long haul. Also, they use the tube retainer to keep it from kicking away from the trailer. So it's not, that doesn't bear weight. The weight's going to bear on the half inch plate, but the tube will keep it from kicking from the trailer. Other nice details on the short track, we can appreciate all the wiring's grommeted, sealed, ran in frame. Notice the brake connections on those are sealed. Grommeted coming out of the back. Again, it's all sealed. There is a safety prop if you're ever working on hydraulics. Again, those cross members, normally in the industry you're going to find uh, three inch cross members. This does have the upgraded four inch cross members. This is available in a 6x10, however the 6x12 is a bit more common. We also stock it into bigger 7, 12, 14, 16 foot lengths. We find this to be an ideal set up for somebody that wants to stay under that uh, magical 10,000 pound GVW that keeps you out of some of the extra rules and regulations in the state of Pennsylvania and most of the states across the country. So again, nice unit for that higher duty cycle guy that does want to keep it uh, out of those extra regulations, gives you a, a sufficient payload to haul some of your lighter machinery or your 30, 40, 50, maybe 50 horse compact tractor if you can fit it in the side quads. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring, 717-220-4220.
Or you can visit us on our website at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.